and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. so quickly to my call. It's hard to say no to one of your invitations, Skeletor. He was real happy to come here. <laughs> Let's get this straight. I didn't come because that walking can opener made me. I came because I heard that you had a plan to defeat He-Man. Such plans I find very interesting. I want to see that do good defeat defeated just as much as you do. Well, then, I have just the plan for you. Trapjaw! Oh, yes, Master. Trapjaw, the General and I have important business to discuss. Oh, yes, Master. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, yes, Master. Trapjaw. Right here, Master. Get out of here! Right, Master, right. Not too bright, is he? As you can see, General, when I require intelligent assistance, I have to look somewhere besides Snake Mountain. That's why I called on you. You mean for my brains? That, and because you are heartless. When I said heartless, I meant just that. As you are a goblin, I understand you do not have a heart. That's true. We don't need them. Then... You do not have a heart beat, right? Of course not, but I don't understand. Why do you ask these questions? I thought you had a plan to defeat He-Man. I do, but this time we're not going to defeat He-Man. We're not? No, this time He-Man is going to defeat himself. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look good, Your Majesty. Sensors report that Skeletor is building a huge structure on the other side of the planet. Exactly where is this structure, whatever it is located? On the Crystal Sea, Your Majesty, near the small village of Zack. I've been there before. A charming, peaceful little place. Skeletor is forcing all the villagers to work for him. Well, we'll have to put a stop to that. Still, the situation worries me. It's not like Skeletor to be so obvious in his actions. It's as though he wants us to investigate. But what reason could he have for that? Uh, I, I don't know. Duncan, why don't you fly out to Zack and take a look for yourself? Right away, Your Majesty. I've never seen anything like it. What do you suppose it is? A dimensional gate. But it's so huge. Uh, what's Skeletor up to now? That right side doesn't seem safe to me. The supports are weak. This looks like trouble. I'd better change. By the power of Grey Skull! <laughs> is booby trapped beautifully. The slightest push will cause it to collapse. Are you ready, Tataran? Let me test the force field. Is it working? Give it a try. Excellent. Turn it off for a minute. 
Now to change you into your disguise. How do I look? Perfect, perfect. Get ready now. Here comes He-Man. Skeletor, why are you forcing honest men and women to do your dirty work? You should be ashamed of yourself. Honest men do an honest day's work, or I destroy their village. Why, you... But your structure is not safe. Someone may be injured. That's your opinion, Tin Hat. Now go away. I have things to do. Well, if you want my opinion, this thing is almost as silly looking as Skeletor himself. Well, who asked you, you little vermin? <laughs> that was a big mistake, Skeletor. Not as big as the mistake you're about to make, He-Man. <laughs> That's what you think, Skeletor. If I can't go around, I'll come through. No! Skeletor. Demon! Help us! There's someone under here! Oh no. Stand aside. I must make my change. Is, is he? There is no heartbeat. He's dead. He was my brother. You killed him, He Man. You killed him. You sure did, He Man. Sure you did it. We had to go after him. He needs to be alone for a while, Orko. We'd better go back to the palace and report. You go. He-Man needs me. It was an accident, He-Man, an accident. You can't blame yourself. The thing wasn't safe. It fell apart. It doesn't matter, Orko. The point is, I acted without thinking. And a man died. But, but He-Man... Orko, when I first became He-Man, I swore to uphold that which was right and to protect the innocent. Accident or not, today I broke that promise. But... I'll be fine, Orko. Now run along. There's something I have to do. I hope you'll be okay. Oh my gosh, I better hurry back or Man-at-Arms will take off without me. Everyone's gone, Tataran. You can get up now. He-Man was completely fooled. I'll say. He really believes I'm dead here. Yes, I doubt if He-Man will give us any more trouble. Now, we can rebuild that gate, and this time for real. A trick! It was all a trick! What? A spy! I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Today I broke a promise and proved myself unworthy of the great power that was given me. And if I am unworthy, I can no longer permit myself to be He-Man. Let the power... 
Return! I brought the Wind Raider, Adam. Let's go home. Better make yourself comfortable, you worthless wizard, because you're going to be here for a very long time. <laughs> Door now closed with me inside. Open now, and open wide. <laughs> Foolish Orko, this prison has been magic proof. None of your pitiful little spells will work on it. Now, if you will excuse me, the General and I have plans to make for the conquest of Eternia. <laughs> 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 What is it now, Duncan? Skeletor again? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. This time, however, he's not bothering to hide behind a force field. He has rebuilt the dimensional gate that He-Man had the, uh, the accident with, Your Majesty. The gate is a very large one, big enough to bring an army through. You mean the goblins? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. If that gate is completed, Eternia is doomed. We must destroy that gate. That won't be easy, sir. Skeletor has it heavily guarded. Then we must call once again upon Eternia's champion, the mighty He-Man. Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm, I'm afraid that He-Man is... is uh, no longer available, Your Majesty. Uh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. I gather he's still upset over the accident you told me about. However, there is no time for questions. We must act, and act quickly. Duncan, if the full strength of the Royal Guard were to attack that gate... Skeletor has placed a large number of ray cannons around the dimensional gate. The Guard can't get close enough without risking many, many lives. Then what choice do we have? There is one slim chance, Your Majesty. A single soldier might be able to sneak past Skeletor's guards on foot. The soldier would be carrying... This. A mesotronic bomb? Exactly. If the soldier could get close enough, this bomb would disintegrate the entire dimensional gate. There is no time to lose. I am going. Goodbye, Your Majesty, Adam. But, but... No, Taylor. No. Goodbye, Father. I... I love you. Duncan, what are her chances? Not good, Adam. Not good at all. But she's the only hope we have now. Wall of hiding solid stone. Please open up. Let me go home. <laughs> well, I guess Skeletor is right. I can't use my magic on this cell. I have to tell He-Man that Skeletor tricked him. Wait a minute. Maybe I can't use my magic on this place, but I can still use it on me, myself. I knew I'd think of something. Taylor's gone off on a dangerous mission, and only He-Man could save her now, but... No, I can never become He-Man again. I misused the power and a man died. No, never again. Never again. Orko? Of course it's me! Uh, oh, sorry! <coughs> uh, Adam, wh what are you doing? You have to become He-Man, Skeletor's... I've given up being He-Man, Orko. After what happened in the village... It was a trick! A dirty, rotten trick! The villager and his brother were Tataran and Skeletor in disguise! What? Orko, are you sure? Yes, I am, Adam. You, uh, uh, uh He-Man didn't hurt anyone. It was all a trick! <sighs> oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible? I thought you'd be happy to hear this. I am, but you don't understand. Because He-Man wasn't around, Tila just went off on a dangerous mission. Well, let's go get her. Pull the old magic sword and... That's the problem, Orko. I don't have the sword. I threw it into the bottomless abyss. What, of all the foolish...
foolish. Uh, I mean, oh, sorry. I mean, uh, but uh, what are you going to do now? There's only one thing I can do. What's that? Get it back. <laughs> They're tremendous. I can't... I can't control. A goblin ship. The gate must be working. That makes sense. That's where all these goblins came from. Skeletor must be up there, right next to the gate. Maybe I can get these goblins to take me there. Hmm. At least I hope so, because here goes nothing! Who is it? How can I spy out? What shall we do with her? Take her to Skeletor! That's right, boys! Take me to Skeletor and the gate! I don't know if this abyss is really bottomless, but it sure does go down a long, long way. I'm stuck. I, I can't get away. There it is. There's my sword. Just reach it in time. There, I got it. By the power of Grace God. There, that should hold you long enough for me to get out of here. Now, for Skeletor and his dimensional gate, and Tila. Well, 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 what have we here? A spy, my Skeletor. We found her sneaking around a camp, so we brought her to you. Excellent! You may release her. Well, Captain Tila, this is a surprise. Have you come to surrender to the forces of Skeletor? No, Skeletor. I came to bring you this. A mesotronic bomb. That's right. And you have five minutes to get you and your evil cohorts out of here before I push the button. You wouldn't dare. And no magic, evil face, or I press the button now. She means it. Come on, men. Let's get out of here. No, you cowards! Come back here! You have four minutes left, Skeletor. I don't need four minutes to defeat you! No! And now, my dear Captain, once and for all... Steven! Well, looks like I got here just in time. I'd have thought that my little trick would have made you go away permanently. But no matter, I'll take care of you now. What's that? The mesotronic bomb. Your ray must have damaged the timer. It's going to go off. It should be quite a blast. I'll leave you two to enjoy the fireworks. <laughs> what are we going to do? Only one thing we can do. Run for it! No sign of the goblins. With the gate gone, they must have returned to their own dimension. Right, Tila? Tila? Tila! Oh, no, Tila. Oh. Tila? Oh. I must have bumped my head. Tila, you're all right? Why, He-Man, 
I didn't know you cared. <sighs> I was worried. I'm fine. Let's go home. <laughs> uh, hey, man. Yes, Tila? You can put me down now. If you don't feel up to walking, I can carry you back. It's no trouble, you know. He man, I'm fine. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you, but to be on the safe side, maybe I should carry you part of the way. What good will carrying me part of the way do? I don't know. I just thought... I want to talk to you today about safety. Accidents don't just happen to other people. They can happen to you. But you can do some things to help prevent accidents from happening. Using a safety belt when riding in a car can save your life or prevent you from being seriously hurt. Now, I know you've been told never to play with matches, because if you do, you're playing with fire. And fire can burn your toys, your home, your family, you. So use your common sense and think about what you're doing. It's better to be safe than sorry.